Hey, my name is Sheila and I've lost 46 pounds on my Weight Watchers journey. And in this video, we're going to do an in-depth look at one of the greatest zero point foods that has made probably the most important impact. One of the most important impacts on the ability for me to lose that 46 pounds. We are going to be talking about hard boiled eggs, which are like a whole video on hard boiled eggs. Yes. You need to know all the information about hard boiled eggs, how to cook them, all the different ways you can eat them, because it's a game changer. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It's not like I love the flavor of hard boiled eggs. I would much rather eat Cheez-Its and graham crackers and any other carby, salty, sweet thing. But I discovered in my journey that I love the way that hard boiled eggs make me feel. They are like my bridge snack in between meals when I need to keep my blood sugar stable, when I want to just be humming at premier energy. I eat hard boiled eggs because they make me feel so great throughout the day. They keep my energy level stable. But I've been eating them now for what, three years that I've been on this journey. So I've had to get creative. First, I had to teach myself how to even cook them. We'll talk about that. Then I had to like get to the point where I was sick of hard boiled eggs. So I had to figure out other ways to do them that were still low points. So we'll get into all the things. Now, just remember the entire hard boiled egg is zero points. The yolk, yes, the yolk is zero points. And Weight Watchers chooses zero point foods because they're less likely for us to overeat them. Like I could totally eat six chocolate chip cookies and overeat those, but I'm less likely to sit down and wanna eat six hard boiled eggs. That just would not appeal to me at all. I do mine on the stove. I take them out of the fridge. I do about five at a time. I let them sit on the counter to kind of get to a little bit to room temperature while I get some water in a pan boiling, in like a soup pan, just enough to cover the eggs. So I get that up to a boil and then I take a spoon and I gently place each egg so it has this nice little space inside of my soup pan. Then I wait for the water to come back to get to a boil again and then I set my timer for 10 minutes. When that timer goes off, I pull the eggs out and I put them in an ice bath. That is supposed to help making the eggs peel easier. And I put them in my fridge with the shells on because they last longer that way. So anytime I run errands, I typically pull out, pull out a hard boiled egg and stick it in my cooler or stick it in my fanny pack and I will eat it as a quick protein snack because I get hangry, I get agitated. Like running errands, being in stores, it just super stresses me out. The overhead bright fluorescent lighting, all the people. So I find that when I pop in a hard boiled egg and eat it, it takes the edge off. And what kind of eggs are you buying? I totally forgot about this. This has been a huge part of my journey. I used to just buy the eggs from Costco, the grocery store, and the yolk would just be like almost white when it was cooked. Now I buy premier eggs, cage free, like the best quality. I get the v Vital Farms eggs. The yolks are bright orange. And I just like the idea. I don't even think it's idea. I think it's truth that that bright orange yolk means that the egg has more nutrients and vitamins. I, ju I just think it has more flavor. You can put your hard boiled eggs in the oven, get a muffin pan, I thought this was brilliant, make a huge batch. I mean, if you're going through one or two a day or you have multiple people in your house that have picked up your great habit of eating the hard boiled egg, eggs, put them in a muffin pan, they each get their individual one, set your oven for 350 degrees, bake them for 30 minutes, and then you're also going to put them in that ice bath. But like I said, I've got kind of burnt out from hard boiled eggs, so I have to mix it up. So some of the ways that I mix it up is I'll peel my hard boiled egg, plop it in a little bowl. I'll squeeze a little bit of Dijon, put a little bit of light mayo, a spoonful of like dill pickle relish, and then I mix it all up and make a very low point egg salad. I had in some super chopped, finely chopped celery to give it a little crunch. You could put in some onion. Um, sometimes I've mixed in when I want extra, extra protein, some canned chicken or canned salmon or canned tuna. I've chopped up cucumbers and put in. Basically what I'm describing to you is I make like an egg salad, but I bulk it up with whatever I need 
depending on how filling I need it to be. People swear by doing their hard boiled eggs in the air fryer. You put them in a 270 degree of air fryer for 15 minutes, or some people even do it in crock pot. This one seems a little far-fetched to me, but maybe you love your crock pot. You don't wanna heat up your house at the oven or the stove on a hot day. So you put the eggs in their crock pot, you cover them with water, you put in a tablespoon of salt, and then you cook on high those eggs in the crock pot for 2.5 hours. And then with all of these, you put them in that ice water bath afterwards. There's also the Instapot, Instant Pot. One cup of cold water in the Instant Pot, place the eggs on a rack, seal, five minutes on high pressure, let the pressure release naturally, then the ice water bath. Just a quick tip, I am making lots of weight loss content, wellness content, audio content. So I have this secret audio content hub where I am publishing these audios that deep dive into my best tips that I've discovered, that I've processed, that I've learned, that in I've today's reflected deep on dive in my weight loss journey of 46 pounds. So I'll link that down below. I also have a free podcast that you can listen to, my Instagram, where I give you all the tips on what to get at the grocery store. So make sure you're following there, me there. I think that's all my info. Plop an egg in a bowl, chop it up, and then I put a little ranch dressing. That's when I'm kind of crunch for time and I don't want to do the Dijon, the pickle, the this and that. Put in a little ranch dressing that's low point and then I'll add in some extra fixins if I'm feeling up for it. A lot of hard boiled egg things that have gone viral on social media and TikTok. Here's one of them that you might want to try that I think is really interesting. It's called no peel viral eggs. So you get a loaf pan and you spray the loaf pan. You crack the eggs and you add them into the loaf pan. You don't mix them up or anything. They kind of just line up there in the loaf pan. Um, you put that loaf pan in another baking pan and then you stick it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and it basically comes out. You can plop it onto like a cutting board and then you can chop it up or cut it into strips, stick it in your fridge and it's perfect for salads or if you wanna make a quick egg salad or just to sprinkle egg on anything to give it a little extra protein. People are swearing by this and it's no peel. The last thing we're gonna talk about is this new trend that I think is absolutely brilliant when it comes to hard boiled eggs. Game changer. So what people are doing is they're making their hard boiled eggs and then they're getting like a microplane grater. You know, when recipes call for a zest of lemon and you have that microplane and then you zest the lemon and it comes, comes out. <laughs> um, so they're taking a hard boiled egg and then they're using the zester, the grater, the microplane to grate the hard boiled egg, which you're like, why would you do this? Okay. You could do this to add extra protein if you're making an avocado toast. Let's say you're doing an avocado toast, grate some egg on top, it falls like Parmesan, and it's very subtle. Another one that is viral that people are loving is you make asparagus, which is in season right now. You cook your asparagus however you want, boil it, roast it, and then you grate hard boiled egg on top of the asparagus to add some more protein. Those are all my hot hard boiled egg tips. I wanted to focus a whole video on this because it is a foundational zero point food on Weight Watchers and really for any health journey. Hard boiled eggs are my go-to. I make a batch typically every Sunday or Monday so I have them for the week. Uh, they just, like I said, stabilize my blood sugar. They make me feel great. I can be feeling crummy and kind of just like low energy and in a funk and just bottomed out. And I eat a hard boiled egg and I am zooming again. It's like my little, it's not caffeine, but it's like my energy boost pack. Sometimes I'll eat two hard boiled eggs a day. Sometimes I'll do a soft boiled in the morning and then a hard boiled for a snack later on in the day. Uh, but yeah, they help save your points. Uh, once again, not gonna lie, I don't love them. It's not like if I had to pick five foods to eat for like my ultimate meal, I would pick a hard boiled egg, but they get the job done. So are you using them in their, your journey? And if you're not using them, give them a try again. It took me probably a year. 
I used to just like eat a hard boiled egg and just grimace like with agony. Like, I don't want to eat this. I hate it. But it took me a year to like get used to the consistency, get used to the taste, and then they have been a lifesaver. So don't give up hope on the hard boiled egg.